Today, I am making a straightforward tutorial on how to live poke in Halo 2 Anniversary for MCC PC. Now, for context, live poking is when you have two of the same maps open at the same time. Now, what I mean by this is, in this assembly here, so, if I were to be playing Halo 3 right now in non-anti-cheat mode on CR117, I would also have it open in assembly on 010 underscore jungle. This is CR117, if you didn't know that. And you got all your stuff here, tags, string scripts. Are going to care about tags, honestly. Now, you got your bipeds, your weapons, your collisions, your... Uh, what your vehicles all of that and you know you can make your modifications like oh you want to fly a pelican you can do that want to um, change a weapons projectile you can do that you want to change your biped you can do that if you're not really in the mood to uh, make a permanent modification to a level this is very fun you know especially when you're with friends and you're in a group live poking session, but here's where the problem kind of comes into play. Yes, this works in Halo 3. Now, for the Halos that I love since I've been a kid, like Halo 2, when I want to do stuff like poking and pelicans, let's say Arbiter here, I can't. I get an error. I can't access the map. Now, you get a bunch of weird words. Really, who has the time to read all of this? Basically, the map is compressed. You can't access it. It simply just cannot access compressed maps. It has to be decompressed. That's why it worked on CR117. Every single Halo 3 map is decompressed. Now, 343 has off and on released Halos with compressed maps and decompressed maps. I'm sure they have their reasonings. I, I can't tell you why, though. Now... When this happened to me, I thought, oh, then it must be impossible to modify Halo 2 on MCC, PC, which that's not true. You can decompress Halo 2 maps, which this isn't really a secret. But what I've noticed that isn't very known amongst people that you can live poke in Halo 2 Anniversary. Most Halo 2 mods are made from decompressing a map modifying it, compressing it back, launching up MCC, and testing out a mod. Now that in itself is fine, but that's time consuming. Having to close the game, modify your map every single time, and rinse and repeat. Until a couple months ago, I was tinkering around, you know, kind of just messing around, and ended up finding out that you actually can life poke in Halo 2. Now, the way... It's explained as a little weird. I've explained this to other people before in Discord voice chats, and even they were confused, and I tried my best to explain it, and I just could not. Now, for context, how this would work is you would need to decompress the Halo 2 maps, as anyone that looks it up would know. Now, if you have assembly... You would want to go to, where is it at, Tools, Halo MCC Map, D slash Compressor. Now you want to select a Halo 2 map here. So, let's just do the Gas Giant, for example. Classic level, love it. Now, this is what you would typically do, right? This is what you would typically do. Now, let's throw in an extra step. So you want to go to your directory, wherever you have your um, MCC installed. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Collection. Now this is what you want to do. Make a folder wherever you want. Call it Halo 2 De Decompress Maps. Now what you want to do is go into your Maps folder. Go all the way down, highlight all of these to down the. Oops, that's not the one I meant to highlight. Go all the way down. 
You can even include tutorial if you want, but honestly, I think it's kind of pointless to include this one. And you would want to copy all of this to your Halo 2 decompress mats. Copy that over. Once that's done, then you can officially start the process that I'm about to explain. Now, rather than decompressing the maps here, you want to decompress the maps in your now copied maps. So I'm going to go to the Arbiter in here, and I'm going to decompress it. Bam, decompressed. Now let's do this. Now I'm going to open the Arbiter. Ooh, there you go. It is now decompressed, and I can now modify it. Now, to prove to you that you actually can live poke in Halo 2, why don't we open it up? Not anti cheat mode, of course. Now, I have the game's uh, main audio turned all the way down, otherwise, you're not going to be able to hear my voice. Now, open up Halo 2 Anniversary, and now let's go to the Arbiter. Let's just launch it up. It doesn't really matter what difficulty you have it on. It's just as long as you launch the level. You know, you're going to have to be patient here. Halo 2 levels take some time to load up on MCC. And this is actually really simple to do. It's not difficult. I just wish Halo 2 maps launched as fast as they did for Halo 3 maps. Alright, there we go. Level has officially launched. Skip the cutscene. Bam. Alright, I'm now in the game. Now, let us go over to Assembly. And I am currently in the Arbiter, as you can see, Gas Giant. Now, let's do something simple. Let's go into Globals. And I'm simply just going to change my bipad as proof. Player representation. I almost forgot there. Alright, now let's go to... Dervish, which is the Arbiter, if you guys didn't know that. Now, I'm going to change myself to a Heretic. Bam, poke. Now, let's go into Halo 2. Restart the level. Skip cutscene. Now, you're probably going to notice something is different, right? Yeah. First person-wise, I'm still Arbiter, but hey, look at my biped. And if you still don't believe me, Heretic. Now, this doesn't just work for projectiles and bipeds. You can also do vehicle mods if you want to. Oh, you want to fly a Pelican? Well, you can do that. But since, you know, this is the Arbiter, you really can't do that. So let's do this instead. I will now be flying a Banshee early in the level. So I need to go to Scenery. Or Scenery, I should say. Actually, no. My mistake. Projectiles. There we go. Now, let's take the Plasma Grenade. I need to switch this. And let's turn that into... The Banshee. I'm going to poke that in there. Alright, Banshee's now poked in the game. And just so I don't kill myself, I need to edit Arbiter's 
health. H and there we go. Always get that confused. Uh, Dervish cannot die. Cannot die from damage. Poke that in. Bam. Restart the level. Poke. Since everything's poked in. Whoa! Look at that. Although I did kind of... Hold on. Uh, there it is. I am now a heretic elite flying a banshee. And this is all life poking. Normally, you would be able to do this on Halo 2. But, you wouldn't be able to do this with, uh, with life poking. You would have to, like I mentioned before, you would have to decompress the map. Do what I just did. Compress the map. Save it. Launch up MCC. And you would be able to do the same exact thing. But I'm doing it instantly, and guess what? This isn't permanent, so I don't need to make another copy of the map that I'm modifying for the original. And let me do it with another level. Save and quit. And now let's close off on uh, that one. And now let's open up Delta Approach. Oops, can't open up Delta Approach. Guess what I have to do now? I now have to decompress Delta Approach. From my copied folders map. Oops, I didn't even have it selected. Silly me. It is now decompressed. Now let's open up Delta Approach. Alright, that's opened up. Open up Delta Halo. I'm just, I'm just going to do another uh, simple uh, modification here. <sighs> These are the best times just loading. <laughs> Sometimes I think I call I call Halo 2 the loading simulator when it comes to campaign. There we go. Now, I'm going to be a bit rusty at this, but I do kind of remember the process of this. So, don't judge me if I uh, make a mistake here. I'm going to be uh, just making a simple flyable pelican. That's about it, really. If the level loads up. <laughs> Oh, and just a tip, when you're trying to launch Halo 2 levels, it's recommended to launch them in classic graphics. That way it launches faster. I can say this from experience. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do the same exact thing I, uh, that I was doing on Arbiter. Uh, mag. Projectiles. Go down the projectile. Frag grenade and vehicles and put that to the pelican. Boom, put that in the game. Now I can throw a pelican. But I won't be able to drive it just yet. HLMT. Master Chief. Cannot die. Poke that in. Now time for the magic of making a flyable pelican. Alright, seats, powered seats, 
Now let's do Warthog here. That way I, I can I have my reference here. Now, Pelican, invisible, yes. Controls open and close, yes. Now I'll change this to Warthog D. If it highlights correctly, Warthog D. Hmm. Oh, what is he doing? Why did he go all the way back up? All right, there we go. Warthog D. And Warthog D. Now, I'm going to make the entry radius a lot bigger since the initial radius is, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to get inside the Pelican, honestly. Uh, entry radius, let's make it, mm, 10. Hopefully I did it right. It's been a while since I've uh, done a Pelican modification for driving. Invisible, dirt person camera, controls open and close, yes. Alright, now let me go in the water here. Please don't die. Alright, perfect. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back. Come back, Pelican. No. This is probably one of the most irritating things about doing this. It's so flimsy. All right, there we go. I think I, I, I think I, I think I can get in. This is going to be the most time-consuming part is actually trying to get inside the Pelican. Oh, dear. All right, hold on. Get back here! Uh. <laughs> Please work! If I can't get inside of it, I mean, it's really not a big deal. I mean, as you can see from the beginning that this works. Please work, please work. Alright, I give up. So yeah, that's a bit of an epic fail there. But, as you can see, basically you do these steps, and, uh, yeah, you can, uh, live poke in Halo 2. And, uh, yeah, ho hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and, uh, you can start having some fun with your, uh, Halo 2 live poking sessions now. And, uh, peace out.